y'all, it's Anne from What's Up Family Home, and today I have another collab for you. It's hosted by Tiffany at Small Town Six, and it's a super food bowl collab. And we are making our favorite game day snacks. And I'm going to make some Philly cheesesteak sliders, and I'm gonna make a spinach and artichoke dip, and I'm gonna put the bread around it so it all bakes at the same time. I've seen that video. I, there's plenty of channels that have that on there, and it always looks so good, so I thought I would try it. And I want to thank Tiffany for hosting. I hope you'll go like and subscribe to her channel and also click on the playlist that I'll have linked below and you'll get all the other ladies videos and I know they're going to have some great recipes and there's a lot of people in this collab so you'll get some great ideas for your Super Bowl party. So I'm going to turn you around and let's get started on these delicious appetizers. All right the first Super Bowl appetizer we're going to make is some spinach artichoke dip and i've got a container of spinach i've got fresh spinach here and it says to wilt it down so i just rinsed it off and got as much water as i could off and now i'm going to just saute it in the water basically just steam it and i took some rolls that were frozen and i thought them out all day and i came back home and these are huge my plan is to put the artichoke dip in the middle and bake it with the rolls but i'm just going to pull back the dough and fill my fill my dip up here and then i'm going to bake it so while we're getting the spinach wilted down and i'm waiting to put it in here i'll show you what's going to go in it i will have the complete recipe down below it's really easy i've got some sour cream here i think it's a cup and i've already added the salt and pepper in here and in this bowl i have some mozzarella cheese and at the bottom I have Parmesan. So I've got that all ready to go. And I've got a softened block of cream cheese. The recipe calls for marinated artichoke hearts, but I just got a can of artichoke hearts and I've chopped them up. And I'm going to go ahead and just mix all of these things together while we're waiting on the spinach. All right, I've got everything mixed up. Well, I put the artichokes in there and I'm getting that mixed up. And then I'm going to add the spinach and I chopped it up after I cooked it. I'm just going to add that. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to mix it up. It does call for eight ounces of spinach, and this is only five ounces. So it's not going to be as spinachy. <laughs> But it's still going to be good. I had some other spinach in there, which I thought was this pack. And I looked, and the the date, the expiration date was January the 8th. So I'm like, I know this is not my, the one that I just bought. And it was in my refrigerator in here. I was looking in the outside one. All right. Now I'm going to add that into here. And let's see how hard this is going to be. That's not bad. I might actually, though have to just use some of it. I don't know if all of it's going to fit, but that's okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Not too bad if I do say so myself. All right. I'm going to put some cheese on the top. I'm going to put a little Parmesan on there and then I'm going to put some of the mozzarella cheese on the top and I've got my oven preheating to 350 so I'm gonna put put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or until the bread is done and that's nice and hot and bubbly the artichoke dip is out of the oven, nice and bubbly and brown. And now I'm going to start on my Philly cheesesteak sliders. I've got my slider buns here. I'm going to cut those in half. I've got some steakums. I'm going to use this. Right here, I've got my peppers here from the freezer. So I'm just going to cook these until they're nice and hot. All right, y'all. Two of these are not going to be enough, so I had to put in, get another one. And I was like, is it a real steak? <laughs> but it does say you have to chop it up. So 
This one is almost done, and then I'm gonna get this one done with the peppers. I put some salt, pepper, and onion powder in here. And as soon as this steak cooks, we will be ready to assemble our sliders. All right, y'all, I did add some onions at the last minute. I hope I didn't overcook this beef, but I think you have to cook it all the way. I'm not sure. But I've got my peppers, onions, and my beef. And now I'm going to, of course, change up the recipe a little bit. It said to put the steak on there and then put the cheese. I'm gonna put the cheese on there so it'll melt a little bit better. And also, I did the worst job at cutting these things. You, you just wouldn't know. So hopefully the cheese will disguise how uneven this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the beef on the cheese. All right. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it everywhere. Looks like I'm gonna have extra here too, so. Extra Philly cheesesteak is always a good thing. And when I cut it, it cut all the... It cut all these like individual, but so I'm just going to put these back on. Probably not in the same order they were on there. Alright. I am covering these with full, and I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. Alright y'all, I put them in there at 350 for 10 minutes. And with the full on, and then I took the full off and I put it in for 10 more minutes. So now they are ready. That nice and melted cheese. Got the peppers and onions on there. These smell so good. So I am going to dig in. I could probably have put more on there, but these are gonna be good. The cheese is melted and everything, so I'm gonna take a bite. Mm-hmm. Delicious. These are perfectly cooked. Cheese is melted. Delicious. All right, I've got my Philly cheesesteak slider here. Now I'm going to dig into this dip. This just looks so good. I'm going to take off a roll. A nice hot yeast roll here. And I'm going to dig into this dip. It's all that cheese. Mm. Still hot. Take this little tiny one over here. You don't have to use these rolls, but I thought it would be different than just the regular old spinach dip that you use crackers and stuff like that. So I'm excited to try it. Everything looks really good. All right, you guys, this is the good, the bad, and the ugly. These sliders were amazing. Very, very good. Very easy to make. Very, very delicious. I don't have anything bad to say about those. Now this... The artichoke dip was delicious. There was nothing wrong with that. What I had a problem with was the the top brown, but the bottom was still doughy. And I know those, they rose really tall. Maybe you could cut them in half. I don't know, but I don't think I would do it this way again. I would definitely make the dip, but I would not put these big rolls around it. Just my two cents, but it was still delicious. So I want to thank Tiffany again for hosting. I really enjoyed this. Now I know that even though it looks good on a video, doesn't mean that it's really going to be good. But still, the artichoke dip was delicious, and I will definitely make that again. And these sliders were amazing too. So hopefully you'll make the dip and these sliders for your Super Bowl party. So, so I will link Tiffany's channel down below as well as the playlist so you can watch all the other videos. And I hope you'll make, at least make these and make that dip. 
and just use like maybe a baguette or crackers or something like that or put it in a bread bowl but that was really really good and whoever you pull from the super bowl i hope your team wins my team's not in there but i like both teams so i will be happy with either one if they win so i'll see you guys in the next video